Hello guys, so welcome to what I wore and did this week, which is one of my favorite videos to watch from Alana Davidson. So I thought I would put my own spin on it. It is Monday morning around 8.30 and I'm about to go to work. So I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. This is a silk-ish top from Zara. I don't think it's silk. I'm wearing Jennifer Zuner necklace that I always wear. Uh, my really cute little heart earrings from ASOS, uh, my black frame skinny jeans, and these really cute booties by Mark Fisher. So that is what I'm wearing. And yeah, over here I have my Cartier bracelet and my David Yerman bracelet. So that's it. And I'm going to wear some sort of like trench coat because it's raining. Here we go. Okay guys, so now it is Monday evening. I'm done with work, it's about 7.15, and I'm gonna go meet my friend Donna and have dinner tonight at a restaurant called Storico Fresco. It's like, if you guys follow Heather McMahon on Instagram, which you should if you're not, but she's so funny and she's always there and I've never been before, so I'm gonna go uh, drive down there because it's about 25 minutes from my house. And I'm wearing this. This is a, it's actually a romper <laughs> from Zara. I got it back in Spain. I'm not sure if it's still available, but I really like it. It's super cute. And then I'm wearing it with my Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots. I think these are the Thailand, maybe. Um, I got these on major, major sale at Nordstrom Rack. Um, so that's one like major tip if you want to get the Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots. I've gotten all of them on sale. One during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, one at last call Neiman Marcus, and then these at Nordstrom Rack. So if I find any, I will link them down below, but it's definitely worth it to get them on sale because they're like so overpriced if you don't get them on sale, but they're really worth it um, considering just how much use I've gotten out of them. I, I love these boots so much. I'm going to throw like a faux fur, uh, jacket on top and then my pochette Matisse, but it's just downstairs. So that's it. Hopefully I enjoy my dinner tonight. I think it's going to be really good. Good morning, guys. It is now Tuesday and I'm all ready for work. A little bit more businesswoman special because um, I have a meeting with some of our chefs today. So just a little bit more put together and professional. This is a cashmere sweater by Vince. I got it at Nordstrom Rack in August, I think. Like I'm telling you guys, mostly all of like my Vince or Stuart Weitzman, um, Theory, Joie, all of that, I always buy it on sale because it always goes on sale. So just keep that as a pro tip. And my favorite places to shop for that type of stuff is Last Call, Off Fifth, Nordstrom Rack, that type of stuff. So I love this necklace. I'm not sure the brand. It's like a rose gold necklace. Um, my sister got it for me for my graduation in December for my MBA. I'm having, I'm wearing these earrings that are Nadri. Uh, this is that Vince Cashmere sweater. And then these pants are by Leaf. I love them. Everyone needs them. If you guys are in more of like a business casual or even like office, like formal business setting, you need these pants. I actually just ordered them in the beige too uh, for the springtime, but they're super, super cute and very, very comfortable. And then I'm wearing these booties by LK Bennett. So that's what I'm wearing. And we're gonna wear a trench coat because it's still raining. But yeah, that's my outfit of the day. Okay guys, so it is Wednesday morning now and I'm heading to our executive team meeting and it's at, um, it's like a breakfast and then meeting. And I wanted to wear something a little bit more, uh, well, I don't know, it's really cold outside. So I didn't wanna wear pants, cause I don't know, I felt like I wanted to wear a dress. So I'm wearing this dress by ASOS. Uh, you, I, I think like black is always so hard to see, but it's cinched in here. You can make it more cinched in or not. It's a little big. Uh, at ASOS, I usually do a US 6 or a US 8, but since I wanted to wear this for work, I got it in the 8 so that it's long enough and you can wear it in the summertime with um, wedges or even flats or whatever it might be. 
uh, but right now since it's cold out I did put tights on and then I'm wearing these suede booties that I have they're old they're by shoots I think um really like these but this is a really good dress from ASOS I suggest sizing one down I think I could have done the six and it would have been fine I, I'm able to cinch it in a lot and it's really very very cute honestly guys I love it um the jewelry is just the same as always Nadri I'm pretty sure this is Nadri I will try to find it online um and just like my bracelet but I'm going to show you guys a trench coat that I've been loving also so guys this is my trench coat and it is by I guess it's not really a trench coat uh, it's by H&M and I love it it looks so much nicer than what I paid for it uh, it's super cute. It's cream. It comes with a belt if you do want to belt it. So that's what it kind of looks like. It's adorable. I love it. I hope I can find it online for you guys. But it even just is cute over a casual outfit too. If you want to wear this with like jeans and booties and a blouse. It's so nice. I honestly love this trench coat and think it looks very elegant and like just nicer than H&M quality. It was a little bit expensive for H&M. I believe it was $70 or $60, but I will link it down below because I've gotten a lot of use out of it and I think I will wear it even more in the springtime. So that's it guys. Uh, let me go to work and I will update you guys later. Happy Thursday guys. Oh my gosh, my voice <laughs> is the first words I speak all day, but I will show you guys my outfit quickly, just a regular day at the office um yeah so i'm wearing a vince cashmere sweater i just kind of noticed my bra is a little bit black but it's okay i think it's fine i'm um, just having uh it tucked into these frame black jeans i'm wearing my gucci belt um just because i wanted to tuck this in and i thought it looked better and also my mark fisher booties i've used these a ton i got them on sale at the beginning of the year. So I don't know if they still have something, but I'll link something similar down below because I find that I've really gotten a lot of use out of these. So that's what my outfit looks like. All right, have a good day. Guys, so I am actually on my way to dinner. I've had the longest day after work. I literally was in meetings until 6.10. Um, and then I rushed to my new trainer that I just started going to uh, actually this week. And then I came home, got ready because I'm gonna go meet my parents and my aunt and uncle. It's actually, we're just celebrating my aunt's birthday. So yeah, and it's just a, like near here where one of my dad's restaurants or one of the restaurants I work for um, or that my company owns. And it's always delicious and I haven't had dinner. So I was like, I'm going. But anyways, um, this is what I'm wearing. It is so cute. This is a dress by The Couples, which is one of my absolute favorite, favorite brands. I did get it back in Madrid. Uh, they were doing a like huge sale at like the big department store there um, called El Corte Inglés. And I snagged this for like a really, really good price. But it's even though it's like sunflowers, I think I, I will wear it a lot. I'm wearing the BCBG white booties with it. I really need to spray tan or tan or something of the sort. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so just something cute. It actually warmed up. It is like raining a little bit. So I'll put my like H&M trench coat that I showed you guys not too long ago. Was it yesterday morning, this morning? I have no idea. I don't remember. <laughs> my week has been so crazy. But yeah, I'm wearing my little YSL clutch with it. So there is my outfit and I feel like I should have saved this for the Casey Musgraves concert but I have another outfit I'm planning for that so that's the OOTN happy Friday guys yay so I am on my way to work but I have to pick up my grandfather because today we do a thing called the morning prayer and like every month it changes and we do different uh, we bring in like different like religious leaders like from all different religions and do just like it's more like a spiritual thing and then we have like breakfast with everyone so I'm gonna pick up my grandfather and then head there and then have a regular day at work lots to do it's been so so crazy and I'm really tired because we went to sleep really late last night or we got back home until midnight um 
But yeah, so this is what I am wearing. I don't know why it's like, you can't really see that well, but I'm wearing a dress by, or a dress, a sweater by Eero. I love this brand. I talk about it all the time. Um, this is a necklace that I got. Why is it so blurry? Um, that I got at the store, Bevelo, and that I'm wearing these skinny jeans. They're not the frame ones. They're the... Um, AG black jeans. I will link them down below. Really like these too. Um, they're just really, really nice and like slimming. And then I'm wearing these Cole Haan booties that I've had for years. If you guys have watched me on YouTube for a while, I've worn these to death. <laughs> so that is what I'm wearing. Okay guys, happy Friday night. Woohoo, the weekend. And I'll show you guys what I'm wearing to dinner with my family. We're going out to like a more casual-ish uh, Spanish tapas place. I'm um, wearing these bobble bar, like loose sight hoops, um, same necklace from today. And then I'm wearing kind of like a crazy outfit, but I'm not crazy, but I'm putting, I tucked in a Zara bodysuit into these commando leggings and I'm wearing these suede boots. So these are the commando leather leggings. They're amazing. I feel like they look like real leather pants. I love them so much. And yeah, I'm gonna wear a coat because it's still really cold. Yeah, that's my outfit. Guys, sorry, I'm out of breath. I just climb my stairs, but it is late. It is like 11, no, like 10.30 on Saturday. And I just got back from hanging out with my cousin and her husband. My cousin is about to have her baby. Like her due date is on Tuesday. Oh, my hair. But anyways, I went over there because she said she's been really bored, like with just kind of waiting on baby. So I went over there and I made some ceviche, which is like my favorite thing to make and hung out with them for a little bit. But I'm going to change into PJs, pour myself a glass of wine because I only had one beer over there since I was driving and then going to go watch a movie downstairs by myself because I told my mom to go to sleep because she's so tired. But I wanted to show you guys my outfit because first of all, this is a like a wannabe of the Celine necklace or what do you call it, look-alike. I obviously want the Celine. I love this so much, but they are sold out everywhere. And even on eBay, it's like really expensive and like it's still really hard to find. So honestly, I got this in Spain. Um, I believe it was like $20, but I will link the Amazon a one down below because there is a lookalike on Amazon and my cousin has that one and it looks exactly the same. Uh, and then this is a sweatshirt by Something Navy. It's so soft guys. It's a Something Navy line at Nordstrom. I just have it like tucked in to these loose-ish um, straight leg jeans from Zara. I got these in Spain and I'm wearing my Gucci's but yeah that's what the outfit is. Just really cozy and casual. It was raining and gross. I went to a car dealership today, not for myself. I still haven't bought my car, which I need to do. So probably for the next couple of weeks. Um, but I had to help someone that works for our company with their car buying pr process. And then, yeah, it's been a long day. I really want a glass of wine. So I will show you guys my outfit tomorrow. And then I will make a video because I think that would be the end of the outfits of the week video. But what I think I'm gonna do, I haven't bought anything this week, but what I think I'm gonna do is have this video being like what I wore and bought this week, not what I wore and did this week. So it'll be what I bought and what I wore and bought this week. I think that's a good video to have. Okay guys, so I'll update you tomorrow. Happy Sunday guys. So it is the last day of what I bought and wore this week and I actually might update you later because I think I'm gonna get a couple of stuff at the mall. I'm going uh, shopping with my mom. We're gonna go to brunch and then go do, I need to do some returns actually. And then I have a list of what I need to get, just like a couple of random things. And then I need to see if I can find some cute work stuff because I just feel like kind of in a work rut. Uh, just cause I don't know, I need to like figure out what other pants I'm gonna wear. Cause my office is literally like negative five degrees. 
Um, but yeah, let me show you guys my outfit because I'm obsessed with this really cute dress. It's by Rails. Uh, I got it on sale. I'll try to find it for you guys and link it down below. Uh, I love Rails. It's one of those brands. I love like, I just, they're super soft. Um, I don't have any of the shirts, but I have a romper by them and another like beach cover up by them. Um, which I don't even know where that is. I think it's in my house in Charlotte, but, um, I love this. It was on sale, like I said, and it's just like a really cute little star print. It has like little buttons down here and it's really cute. I thought that this is something that you can dress up and down. I can also wear it like longer. So if I do, sorry, if I do want to wear this to work with wedges in the springtime, I can, or with like tights and, um, booties, I can too. My legs are like all, um, cut because I, have issues with like scratching my legs at night. But yeah, that's the outfit, but I wanna wear it shorter today because there's no need to wear it too long right now. So that's what the outfit looks like. And I'm wearing my Gucci's. So do, 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 do. That's the outfit. Good morning guys, happy Monday, and welcome to a new what I bought and wore this week. Uh, so I thought I would start off. It's um, like early on Monday. I think it's eight o'clock. Alexa, what time is it? It's 8.10 a.m. 8.10. A little bit later than I thought, <laughs> but all good. Um, however, I went to Sephora yesterday and I wanted to show you guys what I got. I didn't go crazy because I have gone um, a little bit crazy at Sephora this whole past month. So what I thought I would do is also do like a separate like favorites video. Um, I put a timer for 15 minutes because I am notoriously slow at things and I uh, need to change and leave at 8.40 for work. But, um, but anyways guys, I wanted to show you guys what I got and then I will uh, keep you updated during the week of how I like the things but really only like three things I'm gonna test out because the other thing is this Chanel um, Eau Tendre. It's the Eau de Toilette. I, I love this one. Chanel Chance is my signature scent, I would say. Uh, I really like Jo Malone. I always have a Jo Malone anyways. Um, right now I have the English Pear and Freesia. I really like the um, Peony and Blush Suede and I also like the nectarine and honey blossom. Sorry guys, my dad called and ruined my video. <laughs> but um, I will just show you what I just applied. And I don't know why I was feeling spendy yesterday. And I got this foundation, let me show you. But it's one that I've wanted for a long time and it does have SPF 30. And I've heard amazing things about it. So that's why I went ahead and got it. And I'm just applying it with the beauty blender. But it is the La Mer foundation. Um, it's called the Long, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Um, this has like amazing reviews. I've heard so many people talk about it. Uh, I forget who mentioned it in like their yearly favorites or something. But I thought... Um, I don't know, it was like YOLO. I like really wanted to buy clothes yesterday and I didn't find anything. I think it's stores are just in that like weird transition. Um, so I didn't end up getting any clothes. So I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna treat myself to this thing at Sephora. Um, but I'm also using this Becca under eye primer, which I love. It is so, so good. But yeah, that's what I got there. And what else, guys? Nothing exciting. I mean, nothing too exciting. Not, I don't wanna be like pessimistic, but. Okay, guys, so what I was saying is that I'm gonna do a separate video talking about all the other like products I've been really liking, like stuff that I've gotten ever since I got back from Spain and what I've been wearing here because my skin like very much changed over there. It wasn't as oily and now I'm back to being a bit oily. So I had to change products and foundations and some stuff is still kind of working if I really try to make it work, but um, skincare has been all over the place too. But another thing I bought was the T Tom Ford um, double end defining, like the double ended 
eyeliner pen. I haven't gotten it in years, guys. Like, literally years. It's so good. It's so pricey. Um, I don't, this is something I don't wear every day. And honestly, I don't care if this is like not okay, but I literally use it like for two years and that's it. Um, or it lasts that long for me. If you're someone that might wear a uh, liquid liner every day, then maybe it won't last that long. But for me, it totally does. I'm not like obsessed with Tom Ford. And I don't think a lot of people are either. Nowadays, you can get really great products. Um, like I would say my favorite brand is Charlotte Tilbury. Um, Cause I think that she has amazing high quality products without needing them. And they are obviously still pricey, but they're not like $60 per lipstick. You know what I mean? Like I think Tom Ford, obviously it's super luxurious and stunning and gorgeous, but um, there are some products like that. Like that's the only thing that I would say you have to get is that Tom Ford eye defining pen. Or if not, I really like the eyeshadow quads from him. But apart from that, like I really feel like, it's just overpriced in my own opinion. Um, and if it, if I remember correctly, I do think they've gone through like a price increase. So don't quote me on that because like I was looking at the prices yesterday. I was like, this is crazy. They do sell Tom Ford at like my Sephora. Um, so that's where I saw it, but I don't know. It's just so expensive, crazy. I was the lip cheat in Super Size Me from Charlotte Tilbury, speaking of. Um, I don't know what happened to mine, but I love this like almost equally as much as I like pillow talk. Um, I really, really enjoy it. Like I don't really overline my lips. I do have lip filler. Um, I get Restylane Silk and I get it like once a year and it's for me amazing. Um, she doesn't use the full syringe, so I get it like I mean, I've only really been doing it for uh, about two years now, or like this is my second year doing it, if that makes sense. I usually do like one syringe and then it will last me like a year. And I'll do like half the syringe or like three fourths of the syringe. Like I did it in January and then now I will probably do the rest of the syringe in like September or October or something of the sort. And I go to the same girl that does my Botox and for me, she's amazing. Um, I know like, I've talked about lip filler before and I think a lot of people um, are interested in knowing more about it. So if you have any specific questions, do let me know because um, for me it was something that was like so daunting and scary. But then when I did it, I was like, oh my God, this is so great. It's kind of like life changing. Um, my biggest advice if you are to do it um, is to make sure you go to someone that is like maybe you know someone that she did like or you have been following them on instagram or something oh, there's my 15 minute alarm so i think i gotta go but i will talk to you guys more about that at another time but yeah alexa off um super size me is great i don't overline the lips like i said too much i'll show you when i show you guys my outfit but i also got a new uh, rouge volupte shine i'm you, you guys know i'm addicted to these alexa off and this is a number 79 coral plume. I don't have it because I was like, do I have this? I was like looking at my <laughs> lipsticks. Um, you guys know I love YSL. I mean, I just love the packaging. It's super luxurious. And I'm going to wear this combination today. So I will um, finish my makeup and then I'll show you guys my outfit. So now I will show you my outfit. I do have the lipstick on now. This is the coral plume lipstick with the super size me. Uh lip liner underneath and this is what I'm wearing for work so I'm wearing this top I got it at Nordstrom Rack it's by Isabel Morant fancy schmancy but I literally got it on major major sale and it's from her like Etoile line so like not like the really fancy line but like her other line the like more casual one um yeah and then I'm wearing these frame jeans black jeans and then I'm wearing my Chanel loafers I don't get that much use out of these but I really like them and I thought I would wear them because I don't want to wear heels right now so I'm wearing today and I'll be casual I'm gonna put a coat on because I think it's so cold it's a happy Tuesday I am ready for work and I wanted to show you guys my outfit I really um I'm not loving it I don't know I just I need to like dedicate more time to like putting outfits together for work. 
um because right now it's more like like the weather is like it's cold but not super cold i don't know i think like i'm gonna be hot in this but i'm wearing this turtleneck from h and uh, i got it back in spain but um it's actually really really soft obviously not the best quality but i like it and i think it looks cute and i like the color um i'm wearing those same black frame pants i need to like figure out what else i'm gonna wear next time <laughs> or i need to like buy more work bottoms because i just have like two or three um right now i need to figure it out and then i'm wearing these boots they're from spain also so that's the outfit happy wednesday guys happy hump day and I'm feeling very businesswoman special today. I'm wearing this blazer from uh, Mango. Actually, I really, really like it. It's super cute. Um, these pants from Leaf. And this is a silk blouse from a store in Spain called Uterque. But you can get these um, Vince or even like fake silk from like Ann Taylor or something. And then I'm wearing my booties from Mark Fisher. So that's the outfit. Hi guys, happy Thursday. So quick OOTD. This is a like faux silky tunic -y top from H&M. I got this back in Spain, but I do think that they still have something similar to it. It runs really oversized. I think I'm wearing the size two or four, um, but it is like really oversized. So just keep that in mind. I'm wearing some velvet leggings that are from Commando. And then I'm wearing these suede booties from Shoots. So that's the outfit. 